In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 5, Galaxy Watch 4, up next. Hey everyone, my name is Jeff, and this is actually part of a series of how-to videos I've done on the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5, so you can get the most out of using your watch. You can check out the rest of the videos in that series linked down in this video description below. But today, I wanna to talk to you guys about setting up Google Assistant on your watch. And you're gonna do this by first making sure it's installed on the watch. So you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to access all of your apps. And then from here, you wanna to go to your arrow, which is taking you to the Google Play Store. By the way, be sure to stick around till the end of the video, even after I show you how to get this Google Assistant set up, as I'm gonna show you five fun things that you can do with Google Assistant that you might not have known about once we get going here. So first we're gonna make sure it is installed. We're gonna to go to our search and search for an app. We're actually searching for Assistant. And I'll notice it pops up in my uh, play keyboard here by suggestions. By the way, this is Gboard. If you want to know how to install this, just did a video on this. That'll also be in my playlist for the Galaxy Watch How To videos. And you'll notice here that I searched for Assistant, and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that. And this needs to update. So we're going to go ahead and update it. It's going to Go ahead and download and install it. So Assistant has been installed. Um, from this point, I'm gonna back out before we go to open it here. So I'm gonna swipe to the right to back out. I'm gonna keep swiping to the right and that's gonna take me back to my main screen. Here's our apps. I'm actually gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. And by swiping down, that's going to take me to my quick settings or shortcuts and I can go to the gear icon, which takes me into settings. Now under settings, I'm gonna keep uh, sw scrolling down until I get to the advanced features. And this is a little ways down. Did I actually skip it? Let's see here, here, advanced features. It's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna tap on that. And then under advanced features, I'm looking for this customize keys. So this is where you can customize these keys that are on the right side of your watch. And uh, you'll see here if you double press, It'll go to the most recent app for the home key. And if you press and hold right now, it's gonna access Bixby. Uh, we're actually going to uh, tap on that. And I'm gonna change that to assistant. And now if I press and hold this top button, that's going to access assistant. Let's try this. And the first time I'm doing this here, you'll notice it says get started. So I actually have to continue on my phone and I bring my phone over and it says connecting to your watch, your assistant will be right with you. So I got it connected and then activate Google Assistant. It says here you can use your voice to send texts, manage your date and get quick answers. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. So you'll notice it says that you can access your assistant by saying that phrase, which I'm not gonna say, uh, but it is the hey, and then uh, if you do that, then it's going to detect that you're giving it some sort of a command. Um, that means you can access it without even having to tap one of the buttons. It'll just be listening for that phrase to activate. Now, if you have this activated, it's gonna always be listening for this. So it's actually going to use up your battery a little bit quicker uh, then if you don't have this activated, so if you don't want to activate this, you can skip this. I'm going to have it activated for now, so I'm going to hit next. Uh, and then it's going to, it says you're agreed to voice match, so it's going to identify you and tell you apart from others. Um, you don't have to do this. You can simply remove this in the assistant settings if this is not something that you want to do. So I'm going to agree to that. And then it asks here if you want to help them by saving audio. I'm going to say not now. And then it's also asking you here if you want to give it access to your schedule, your contacts, and your messages. And then if you do, that's where you can then use different voice commands to do different things like put something on your schedule, call a contact, or text and then say the person's name that you're going to send them a message. So let's check to make sure assistance working. I'm going to long press. What time is it in Milwaukee? The time in Milwaukee, Wisconsin is 7.34 p.m. 
So you'll notice it gives you the information as well as gives you a voice response. Now, if you don't like the voice response, that is something you can turn off in settings. And now as promised, here's five fun things you can do with your Google Assistant on your watch by just pressing and holding that button to activate. So first is you can find nearby places. You can ask it, where's the closest coffee shop? Or you can ask it for the closest restaurant, whatever you're looking for, and it's going to bring that right up. The other thing you can do is have it flip a coin. So say you wanna know who's gonna go first during a game or something, you can simply press and hold the assistant button and say flip coin. You got tails. You can also have it translate words or phrases. So, how do you say, how much is that in Spanish? In Spanish, that's cuanto es eso. You can also have it calculate a tip for you. If you get the bill at a restaurant, say it's $42. What is a 20% tip for $42? Here is information from Dollar Times. So then it's going to tell me here, tip for $42, 20% is $8.40. It even gives me the total. You can have it do any percent you want, 10, 15%, 25%, just by asking. And as kind of a fun thing, did you know there are secret sayings out there that you can say to Google and you'll get funny responses? One of the best ones, I dare you to try saying, beam me up, Scotty. So what's your favorite command or thing to do with Google Assistant? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you want to find out more cool tips on how to get more out of using your Galaxy Watch, be sure to check out my how-to tutorial videos. They'll be linked down in the video description, as well as my top free apps for the Galaxy Watch to download, such as top arcade games, productivity, exercise apps, and more. And did you happen to spot Tinker? He is our little hidden robot that pops up in all the videos on this channel, and he briefly popped up during this video. If you spotted him and you're the first person to give me the correct timestamp, that is the amount of time into this video that he popped up, let me know that down in the comments section below. And if you're that first person, I'll put your name on our Tinker Ford Hall of Fame page, as well as give you a shout out in one of my future videos, just like ZZ13120, one of my recent viewers to find Tinker in one of my recent videos. So my name is Jeff, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.